Are you sure you're up for doing this now? No, I can tell you're excited for it, which makes me excited too. Yeah, I mean, the first session we had went much better than I expected. And you saw the pictures for yourself. They were unreal. It's the first time you saw yourself in that kind of resolution, so of course you're going to be picky about it. But remember, anyone you see on magazines, billboards, any kind of advertisements, really, their picture's been edited in some kind of way. It's very rare for anyone to use a completely raw image. It might highlight your pores and your spots, but I love it all regardless. I say that with confidence because it's true. I see so many faces day in and day out, whether I'm the photographer or I'm editing someone else's as a favour, but none of them look like you. Because I'm not attracted to any of them. And that makes all the difference. I don't think I'll get tired of staring at your face. I mean, I was going through your pictures for hours last time and I didn't feel like I was getting bored or anything. I doubt it'll happen this time too. <laughs> There's no such thing as too much exposure of a face. For a camera, yes. For my eyes, no. Alright, look at me. Hmm. I want a different kind of lighting, something more natural, so I'll turn this one away a little. Yeah, when I design a scene, I already have the edited outcome of what I want it to look like, so I try to make everything as close to it as possible, so in post, I don't have to do much. A lot of the times you can tell when a picture's been edited to hell and back, but I like the more subtle approach. Exactly. And I doubt you'd want to look at the picture and not recognize anything. Okay, let's try this. Look at me again. Hmm, much better. Yeah, I like the shadows and the fairy lights behind you. But I want just a bit more ambient, so... I'm guessing something. Well... I've always wanted to take photos of you under candlelight. I noticed the first time I saw you near one. I always have my creative eye turned on, but when I saw the way the light danced over your skin, I was entranced for a minute. Because I'd never seen someone look so gorgeous in all my life, and since then I've wanted to see what the camera will capture. I'm fine with you never being used to what I say. That means I'll fluster you every time. And if you look shy, you look shy. I want to take pictures of all your expressions. Before the first shoot, I was curious, but now I'm practically obsessed. <laughs> Don't worry. Remember the last time, how nervous you were when we started and then you got all assertive and ended up distracting me. I want you to be as comfortable as possible. You can do a lot. If you want to lie down or wrap yourself in a duvet, go for it. If you want to bring a book and pretend you're reading, we can do something like that too. But if you ever feel weird about anything, let me know, okay? Okay. You're gonna do great. Just be yourself. Show me what you want me to see. Mm-hmm. You're in charge. <sighs> All right, let's find the right music. You want something softer this time? Sure, give me a sec. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna put on elevator music. I might as well just be on a game soundtrack, but I think I have something better. Yeah, there was this um, this podcast I was listening to a couple of weeks ago, and they were talking about what kind of music they use with their clients and how that can potentially reflect in an image. It was quite fascinating, actually. They realized that music with faster tempos generally had the model moving more, 
and music with um, angry or like a frantic mood makes the model's movement sharper. Mm, it really had me thinking about how I'm going to set up the next round of shoots. And this will be a tester. Yeah, you get to see me fumble with it all. Well, if you have any suggestions, you can let me know. Of how to change things up. Just because you don't really know the ins and outs of photography doesn't mean you can't suggest something when you're the model. I need to know if I'm engaging, if I'm easy to talk to. Which, now that I think about it, is kind of biased when it comes to you, but still. Mm-hmm. The lighting's good. Uh, props are good. You are incredible. So everything's ready. No, I only talk to you like that. <laughs> yes, you have that privilege. Alright, so I'm going to do it the same way I did before, with some on the tripod first, and then switching to freehand. You ready? Okay, let's go then. You look good. Like, so good. Mm-hmm, I'm resisting the urge to join you. Because how often do we go all out with the aesthetic? I mean, the candles, the new duvet, the tinsel? Christmas was great and all, but this should have been my present instead. You don't get it because you don't see what I'm seeing right now. And I'm crying on the inside that I can't enjoy this next to you. Why don't we ever do this, just on a night? I mean, it doesn't have to be special. We could just set up the bedroom like it is now and chill. I think we should. Okay, let's have a look. Oh, wow. <laughs> Holy shit. I, I don't mean to sound surprised, I promise, but these look so good. You wanna see? Okay. Mad, right? The candles give it that extra oomph. See? I did say you looked good. Well, you should start believing me more often. Alright, I'm gonna move a little closer and do some bust-ups, but I want the candles to be in the background, so can you lie down a bit? Yeah, that's perfect. Okay. You want to talk? All right, uh, about what? Hmm. Do you remember the guys I used to play volleyball with? We're thinking of having a get together soon. Yeah, it'll just be a lad's night out, but apparently Kaysen's never done karaoke before, so we're gonna treat him. Of course I'm gonna record it. We'll get a few drinks first to loosen him up, and then I bet Vinny's gonna go first and sing up a storm like he usually does. That man has some envious vocal control. You've heard him, right? I think I showed you a video of him when he was wasted that one time we went to Weatherspoons. Yeah, that one. And the whole place was cheering him on. He said he didn't remember any of it the next day. I join in when I need to, but I prefer snapping and recording the moments. It might be cliche or whatever, but I'm always looking for the right shot, and if I see it, I have to take a picture. If one of them is absolutely shit-faced and up on a table, I'm obliged to take a picture of it. Because they rely on me to do it. They know I do this for a living, so they trust me to get the best shots of the night. And if I'm the one up there, then they know they'll have to do it themselves. They can't rely on me all the time, and I want to have some fun too. You know me, there's no stopping the fun when the lid comes off. <laughs> yeah, you need like a, a can opener or something. Yes, that's the smile. I knew you were hiding it. What? Uh, no, you can't hide it. Look to me. Yep, nice. 
Now tilt your head forward and keep your eyes on me. Yeah, just like that. I swear, you're a natural. Have you been looking in the mirror differently since the last photo shoot? Yeah, it's weird what you notice afterwards. Try wrapping the tinsel around your arm. Mmm, like a snake. Yeah, it reflects the light so well, and the colour complements your skin. Yep, that's why I told you to buy that one. Alright, now lie down as if you've had the most romantic first date, and I've swept you off your feet and now you're back home thinking about it. You want me to elaborate? Well, why can't you think of our first date? It was ages ago, but I still remember it like it was yesterday. You said that you bought new clothes specifically for the date, and I practically tore my wardrobe apart trying to find something. We met up outside King's Cross, and went to the Tate Modern, looked at some art, and then after... Exactly, we had an early dinner at the garden rooftop, and then went to Ronnie's for the live music. I got to know you a lot better there. Hmm, that's when I discovered you were oddly sensitive to me whispering in your ear. <laughs> I know I had to because of the music, but I kept coming up with excuses to do it through the night. Yeah, those are the expressions I want. Give me amused, uh, annoyed, bashful, daring, anything you want me to see, because I am honed in. No, I can tell these are going to come out amazing. Now show me those teeth. Yeah, give me those pearly whites. A little less. <laughs> Think about um, what we did for Valentine's this year. Ooh, there we are. <laughs> yes, turn. Okay, wrap the tinsel near you. Oh, wow, it's reflecting on your face. Hold on, keep it there. Wow, I should do more shoots with tinsel. Holy shit. Yeah, look at these. Right? This is like magazine cover material. Hey, I believe in my skill. And you. I mean, I can't get over how you look right now. You see it too, right? Your expression brings out so much of yourself, and I'm completely captivated by it. I mean, look at you. I never thought... I never thought you'd be comfortable enough opening up like this with me. Well, we've been together for a while, but this is new territory for you. And I know how shy you can be in front of the camera, but... The fact that I was able to get these shots... I don't know, I'm happy. I'm really happy. <laughs> I'm glad you are too. What? Wait, wait, wait. You, you want to cash it in now with this setting? I know I said I'd let you take photos of me, but... I am not prepared for this, and I said I'm not a model. Touché, I did spring the first one on you. Uh, okay, okay, fine, fine. No, don't worry, if I wasn't up for doing it, I wouldn't have suggested it. You just caught me off guard. Okay, do you know how to work this? I've put it on auto shooting mode, so the settings will sort itself out, you don't have to change any knobs. And it should auto focus as well, but if you want to focus on something in particular, then you can tap the screen here, like this, and it'll focus on that part. You see? No, it's a prime lens, so it doesn't zoom. If you want to take closer pictures, you're going to have to move closer. It's a different lens I'm using this time, but yeah, the one I was using before was also a prime lens. 
This kind lets more light in so the aperture gets wider, and that gives you a more shallow depth of field. You see? Yep, and that's pretty much it. Put the strap around your neck. <clears throat> okay, how do you want me? Shut off. Okay, shut off it is. You want to use it as a prop? Okay. Oh, you can look through the viewfinder or on the screen. Whichever one works for you. Oi, what's with that grin, you gremlin? Yes, that's what I see when I look at you. Just because you have the upper hand right now doesn't mean you have to exploit it. No, I didn't. I was just doing my job, making you feel good in front of the camera. But if this is what you had to go through, then I understand why you were nervous. Looking at you is one thing, but being like this in front of a camera is... Yeah, it's different. Like, a phone is okay because it's, it's just a phone, you know? Everyone has one. But a proper camera is bigger. And I know how the pictures are going to turn out. Are you sure I look okay? My face isn't too oily or anything? It catches the light way too much and makes editing highlights a total nightmare. Man, it's always my nose. Alright, hold on. <clears throat> I want to look good. It might be only me and you seeing the photos, but I'm curious to see how I'll look with some editing. And I don't want to make my life hell. Alright, is that better? Yeah? Okay, good. So, are you ready? I'm ready as I'll ever be, but I trust you. Mm-hmm. This is... strange. I'm not... Um, I'm not used to this. I guess we're both out of our depths right now. You want me to use the tinsel? Um, okay, I'll wear it like a sash. Oh, it's itchy. <laughs> How's that? No, it's okay. I've heard some horror stories of models who had to do some insane stuff for the perfect shot. Yeah, so this is nothing. Do I look better? I don't know how models do it. I mean, when you're in this position, you realize how awkward you are with all your limbs if you really think about it. Oh, shut up. Huh? That's how you want me to look? Pouty. Oh, <laughs> wow. Hey, you can't say the same things back to me. Well, <laughs> fine. Let's, let's see the first batch. Whoa. No, no, they, they look fine. You have an eye for composition, and it looks great. But I didn't think I could look like that. <laughs> Going back to the gym was a good idea then. Volleyball used to keep me in shape, but I'm glad I haven't fallen off the wagon just yet. Oh, you want to do some bust-ups too? Okay, come here then. Yeah, sit on my lap. How are you finding the camera? Good. Your arms might hurt a bit from holding it up, so when they do, let me know, okay? All right, what do you want me to do? Hmm, I could wear the tinsel like a scarf. The gold one? <clears throat> Okie dokes. <clears throat> oh, thank God we didn't get the ones with the little star pieces. No, this is fine. How do I look? <laughs> yeah, you're wrapping me up like a Christmas tree. You want me to lie down completely, or do you want me to stay on my elbows? Ooh, okay. Look at you being all bossy. 
No, it goes to show you've got an idea in mind. Run with it. What do you see? Hmm... Uh, you mean like POV shots? I get what you mean. Okay. I'll try my best. So if I'm going to be looking back at these photos, it's going to be what I look like to you. I can't wait to see them. I can see you smiling. What? Because I am. You can't get distracted, you're doing a photo shoot right now. See, it's not as easy as it looks, is it? Have you noticed how eyes look more intense when they're staring directly into the camera? You can see it all, can't you? Should I do the same thing we did last time? Give me your hand. Now this is a POV shot. <sighs> I wish I had my camera on me right now so I can take pictures of you. I mean, the sun's going down, but your silhouette is... Hmm, <sighs> it's very appealing to my eyes. You can tell. Really? <laughs> well, do they change when I kiss your hand? <laughs> I look teasing because I am teasing. You like it though, don't you? Don't lie. It's your hand I'm kissing in these shots. No one else's. <laughs> your arm's shaking. Is the camera getting a little heavy? Alright, give it a... Let's see what you got. Oh my god. These look great. I swear I'm not just saying that. They look amazing. I like how you tilted it sometimes and moved about so you got one candle in one shot and then the other candle in a different shot. Like, yeah, these are so good. It doesn't matter if the camera was on automatic. You made sure not to crop my head and you knew what kind of shots you wanted to get. Mhm, mm I'm very proud of you. I'd say this session was a success. You think so too? Then say, that's a wrap. You did well. I'm surprised, but also not surprised considering how quickly you picked things up. No one is seeing these photos. Only you. And you better not use it as a wallpaper for your phone because I swear, if I see that, I'm gonna... I'm gonna take pictures of you no matter where, no matter when. Meaning when you just wake up, when you're brushing your teeth, when you've come back from it pouring outside. And the first thing I'll do isn't getting you a towel, it's taking a picture. Ah! What is it with you and hitting? Oi, I'm still holding the camera. Yeah, you can hit me with your lips. <laughs> it made you smile though. Can you believe we've been together for another year? I know, it's crazy. I feel like this year's gone by so quickly. Then again, I say that every year. Maybe I'm just getting old. <laughs> I know, but 23 is a weird age. I'm an adult, sure, but I still don't have much experience of the world. I'm lucky to have my own studio and be able to live doing a job I love. Like, 
after you finish studying, you think that the best way to get a job is to do an internship and then work your way up for a long time until you finally get your foot in the door. For me, if I hadn't accepted the opportunities I did when I was in uni, I wouldn't have made the connections that got me here. And I think about it all the time. Either way, I would have had you. And I will into another year, if you'll have me. Yeah? Hmm. I love you. Man, I need to get the stencil off me. <laughs> it's so bloody itchy. Hmm, it was worth it for the photos. Yes, only for the photos. I'd only do that for you. Because I can't say no to you. Not when you looked that determined. And it was a new experience for the both of us. I could tell you liked it. Maybe we should do it again another time, but properly plan it. Yeah, if you have any other ideas for a photo shoot, I'll be down to do it. Preferably with more comfier props, like a bed of pillows or something. Well, whenever you think of something, just let me know and I'll pencil you in. Yes, my schedule is very busy, but I'll try to rearrange things and make you a priority client. You're my top priority. Always. <laughs> you want a hot chocolate? Yeah? Well, you stay here where it's romantic and warm, and I'll be back with the hot chocolate, okay? You can look through the photos if you want. <clears throat> mm-hmm. I'll be back in a minute. 